Okay, folks. Uh, uh, today's uh, second hour was able to get their assignment done in class. Uh, you might be able to have the same opportunity because you are going to get an assignment and get it tomorrow as well. Okay? So let's get on top of it. Be ready to go. We don't have a lot to get through today. Did we finish off example one yesterday? Okay, so yesterday we finished off with doing eight rectangles. We said we're just going to operate for the right-hand side. We got 25.5. We saw that the actual uh, area was 21.33. We did that on our calculator. Uh, and we are going to move to R sub infinity. So we're going to do an infinite number of rectangles in order to compute the exact area. But before we do that, we need to continue on with our right-hand rectangle type situation. What's different about example two compared to the first example we did? Not a graph, you have the table, okay? And so we can do it, but please note, this is where some people get confused, okay? So, it says we have an interval from negative 2 to 6. If your interval is from negative 2 to 6, how wide is your interval? So I'm going to take that 8, and I'm going to divide it up into two rectangles. So, exactly. So you have a width of 4, okay? So if I have a width of 4... And I go from an x value starting with negative 2, what will be the other side of my rectangle? Positive 2. And then I would go from 2 to 6. So everybody see that, that would, those two kind of brackets would make my two rectangles? So if I'm going to evaluate the height on the right hand side, do I evaluate the height at negative 2 or positive 2? At positive 2, because I am on the right hand side of the interval. What is the height at positive 2? Now, I'm going to do my second rectangle. Do I evaluate the height of the second rectangle at positive 2 or positive 6? I go to the right hand side and I get 6. So I have 4 times 13, which is 52. Let's switch it up. Instead of doing two rectangles, let's do four. What's going to be the width of each rectangle? Because today we are only going to focus on the right side. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you more in depth right side, left side, midpoint, and trapezoidal. Midpoint as well. I like it that you guys have strong feelings about it. Okay, so I'm going to go from negative 2 to what? 0. And then from 0 to, then from 2 to, and from 4 to. So I have 2 times. Do I evaluate the height at negative 2 or at 0? At 0. And the height is? And then 7, 8. Good. So I have 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 6 is 22, times 2 is 44. <laughs> not, very, uh, not very precise with the type of function I gave you. It's a very erratic behaving function. Okay? Uh, eight rectangles. How, how, uh, what's the width of each one? One. So... No. Okay. Hold on. This is really important. Jake is absolutely right. We have nine spots where you evaluate the height. But look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight intervals. You see that? So where do you evaluate the height for the first interval? At negative one. So it's ten. And then 1, 5, 7, 16, 8, 5, 6. Fifty eight, thank you, Callan. Everybody good with that? Okay. So number three, use the following to determine the approximate area bounded beneath the function over the given interval 0 to 8 using two, four, and eight rectangles. 
So if I have two rectangles over an interval of eight units, so I'm going to start at four, right? The width of each one is going to be four. And so do I draw the height at zero or at four? What would you approximate the height to be there? I would agree nine. That's fine. You can say eight and a half. That's okay. It's free country. Uh, and then I evaluate the next height at eight. What are you going to say? Three? Okay. So you have four times nine plus three is going to be 48. So if I want to do four rectangles, what's the width of each one going to be? Two. Where do I evaluate the first height? At two. What is the height there? Okay. Then I evaluate it at four, and the height we said was about nine. Then you evaluate it at, and what's approximately the height at six? Sure, seven. And then the height at eight, which is about three. So I have 18 plus 10 is 28 times 2 is 56. Eight rectangles. What's the width? Times. Do I do the height at 0 or at 1? And what's the height at 1? Sure. Okay. Okay, so then... Okay. All right. We'll see you guys. Uh... Yeah. What do you want? All right. So uh, we've got our height. Uh, the height at one, you guys said was about nine. At two was about nine. At three was about nine. Four is about nine as well. And then uh, five is about eight. That six is about seven. I'm going to say five. Then eight is about three. So I've got uh, 36, 44, plus 12 is 56, plus three, I got about 59. Okay. So, you can see that you got these three examples, okay? Uh, you got your first example where we uh, found the area underneath here, and we found the heights by plugging them into x squared. Here, you look at the function value to generate the height, and here, you just, you know, use your picture to estimate, okay? And that's what's going to be the basis for your assignment today. So, take all your assignments.